Shalom, the Lord bless you. <clears throat> I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in this amazing day. But after day comes night, and this particular prophetic word says, God is about to give you a huge surprise tonight. It's it's about to be huge. There is a huge release tonight. There is a huge release tonight, and it's about to be huge. You know, um, I've taught people, and I always say this. When you wake up in the morning, always learn to command your day. And some people wake up and their day is not going on the way they really want it to go. Like probably it's going wrong and all that. And then you must not let it go wrong like that. You must learn to command it even before it gets to night. And then the opposite is that some people also wake up and the day is good for them. But towards the afternoon, midday, towards night, they start noticing that something starts going wrong about your days and all that. You know what I'm saying? Now, you don't discourage, you don't get disappointed and you don't get discouraged because things start working like that for you. No, honey, you don't have to do that. You have to command it out. That is what you must decide. You must understand that no good thing comes easily. Nothing good comes easily. You must understand that every day carries a blessing. The Bible says... Um, I love it when at least you understand what I'm talking about. Okay. The Bible says in the book of uh, uh, Psalms 18 and verse 24. Psalms 18 and verse 24. Like, I, I don't know. I just feel it to talk and then let's just be going on with the scriptures, okay? So that you you know where the scriptures are coming from, not just me quoting it. I can quote scriptures from January to December, from now to tomorrow. and But it's good that if I'm quoting it, at least you should know. It's better when you can write it down. If you're listening to a prophetic word or if you come back later to listen to it, you can write it down somewhere and then you can go back to always remember that particular scripture and all that. It helps personally. So thank you, Jesus. Psalms 118 and verse 24. Have you written it down? Psalms 118 and verse 24. The Bible says, This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Ah. Mm. I felt good reading that. This translation is good. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. What are we rejoicing and be glad in about? About the day. And you must understand that every day is accompanied by night. What wraps up a day is the night. It is in the night that we receive testimonies. At night we receive jubilation. At night, like when you go for uh, when you go to your job and all that. Towards the evening or depending on your closing time, depending on your shift, you come back. It, even when you rest, if you come back in the afternoon, even when you rest, you notice that it is at night that you start thinking about it. Like, oh, this happened and all that and all that, you know, because every day is accompanied by a night. And what makes a day perfect and beautiful is the night and all that. Somebody is about to receive a huge surprise because there is about to be a rich, a huge release tonight. You have been waiting on God for a long time. You've been trusting and you've been believing God for a breakthrough for a long time. You must be very sensitive about tonight. I say it again. You must be very, very sensitive about tonight. This is that night of great encounters. This is that night of blessings. Four things are going to happen. Four. The first thing that the Lord will be doing to somebody tonight, I saw God healing the heart of somebody. I saw the Lord bringing peace again into your heart. One of the things you can lose is your heart. One of the pain you can lose is your heart. One of the pain you can lose is your peace. Once you lost your peace, once your heart is no more there like 
it used to be. You go through a lot and all what you're waiting is can dead just come. God is healing somebody's heart and God is bringing so much peace into your heart. Things are about to take the other turn. Things are about to change drastically in your life. You will see God as never before. Everything is about to go so good and so correct in your life. That is the first thing God is about to do. The second thing God is about to do tonight is that he's about to give somebody a huge financial release. I said again, there is about to be a huge financial breakthrough, a release of a huge financial breakthrough. Somebody is about to see God in another dimension. You will receive that miracle tonight. If I'm saying all of these and it concerns you, why not type it on the comment section and say, I receive. What I mentioned that concerns you, choose it and receive it. If you want to receive all, <laughs> make sure you're choosing all and you're receiving in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number three, I heard it so clearly, so clearly. The Lord says somebody's going to be conceiving tonight. I don't know who that person is. Goodness, this is a great word. Somebody's going to be conceiving tonight. Oh, what if I'm not married? What if I'm not expecting a child? Now, this prophetic word is going to somebody who is expecting a child. And you're going to be conceiving tonight. You know, God is about to change a lot of things in the life of a lot of people. God wants to do things in the lives of believers that people will not ask you where your God is. But they will see the evidence of your God in your life. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tonight, somebody is about to receive a call from someone who has never had, has not had a conversation with you for a long time. You had a separation with this person and you've not had a, a heart to heart conversation. You've not spoken like, let's talk about what happened. You're about to receive a call from this person and the person is going to tell you, please, I really want us to talk. This happened and can we talk about it? These four things are going to happen. It will happen to you. Peace, God is restoring you, healing your heart, financial blessings you're conceiving. And then somebody's going to get to you and say, please, can we talk? It's going to be amazing. By the special grace of God, I pray for you. That is concern. Let this manifest in your life. You're receiving, pick out what you're receiving and mention it there. If you're receiving all, make sure you're typing it on the comment section that you're receiving all. Let it manifest in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Please, if this has been of great blessings to you, I beg of you that you please pray for me, intercede for me as the Spirit of the Lord will lead you to. Thank you so much for doing that in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please do not forget to share, subscribe, turn on your notification bell. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the name of Jesus. I love you so much, I do. I love you. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.